This is Carrie from Inspired ADUs. We have a lot of homeowners who are contacting us who want to know what's possible and want to do a little legwork and research on their own. Historically, that's been a little bit complicated and hard to sort out, hunting through the assessor parcel map for a city, diving into the planning code, and then getting into the nitty gritty legal descriptions. All of that can be a little hard to navigate when really you just wanna to look to see if a certain ADU might fit on your lot. You've looked at the ADUs and you like the ideas, you like the plan, but you just wanna know what's possible before you commit to something like a site assessment. Enter Symbium. You can go ahead and log into their site at symbium.com. Scroll on down until you get to the section about accessory dwelling units and click Try It Now. You can search by map or by address. We will take you to an address so we can walk through what their site has to offer. Now keep in mind, Symbium has not finished mapping all of California. They are a startup and they are working on it, so stay tuned to see if your city has been added. Once your address pops up, you can see that you've got the highlighted uh, property line, you have the existing house footprint. This property has a garage. But what's best about it is it gives you all the technical details. It gives you the parcel number, lot area, size of primary residence. And then as you go down here to what's possible on my property, you see it has a check mark for the accessory dwelling unit. Go down a little further and it has a bunch of different links to uh, general development standards. So you can open this page. As you scroll down beneath the property map, you can pick what kind of ADU you're interested in. Let's look at a detached accessory dwelling unit. That explains that it's a freestanding free building that is unattached to the home. Again, it repeats your specific property information, but then it adds what you're allowed to do in terms of an ADU. The site can have one detached ADU and one junior ADU, 28 feet tall, two stories, and 1,200 square feet. It also gives you the setbacks, parking requirements, and some additional information. As you scroll down, it gives you different things to consider, and then it gets into what we love as architects, the design. You can click on this uh, step three and look at design options. Now, Symbium has partnered with a few different companies. And you can see different options of plans available there. And as I scroll over those different plans, you can see the purple footprint on the right changes. But let's look at one thing first. Let's look at demolished structures. This property does have an existing garage. So we could click on that and demolish it and say done. Then we can begin to scroll through and look at some options. The Clifton is the one you were looking at on our site. So we can click on the Clifton. You can see how that pops it right into the rear of the lot. This dashed area is the area where you can't build. So let's say you drag that over that area. You'll see the ADU turns red. The same thing goes if it's too close, <coughs> excuse me, too close to the main house, it turns yellow. One of the other great tools you can use on this site is to think about the orientation. So you can rotate the ADU. You can start to think about if you were in this main house and the ADU was facing the main house, does that feel comfortable to you? Does that feel like you're building a sense of community? Or do you wanna tuck the ADU back on the property line back here? That way the main house has some more space and the ADU has some space. But you can also consider, and one design aspect we like, is rotating it away from the main house. And this does a couple things. Let's get it in the good zone. You could think about how the, the ADU is accessed and reached along the side of the house. But then you see it creates almost a private courtyard for the ADU back here. Now these occupants can feel free to be in that space, have their own yard, and don't feel like they're intruding on the big house. And then the big house feels like they haven't lost too much of their yard. When you are happy with this, you can save it. It will um, give you an opportunity to contact the designer. In this case, it's one of our plans. 
And then you can also um, save a development standard, which will give you a report. You can see this time, unlike our last uh, standard report, we have the ADU shown, and if you scroll down, it shows you the actual details of the Clifton-inspired ADU. Now you can download this, you can save it into your file, you can use it to go talk to a planner, or you can use it and have it handy when you called Inspired ADUs about developing the Clifton. I hope you all take advantage of it. Remember that this is a free service for homeowners and an incredible tool. Thanks.